Escaping Peril features our first Skywing protagonist of the series, Peril. And oh my god, I love her point of view so much. In a nutshell, Peril is a yandere trying to reform herself, only keeping her sanity because the one person she one-sidedly loves tells her to. That person being Clay. She loves Clay so much. She would do anything for Clay. Protect him, burn his food, murder his family. Peril was briefly shown in Moon Rising and has had plenty of development during the first arc. However, she is not really in any winglet and hasn't had any real connection with the main character so far. Peril is a fire skills dragon, which means that she is so that anything or anyone she touches immediately burns into agonizing pain. Fire scales are uncommon, but mostly because Skywings traditionally throw fire scales children off a cliff as soon as they are born, along with any others that do not fall under what is considered normal, such as fireless dragons or anime. Scarlet, Peril's adoptive mother, kept her alive to make herself basically untouchable and unchallengeable for the throne. After being used as a fun execution tool by Queen Scarlet during the war, Peril doesn't see her place in the world anymore. She has been exiled from the Sky Kingdom by their new queen, Ruby, as the queen is still unsure of her loyalty and her fire scales are considered a menace by everyone and everything. Except good boy Turtle. Turtle stayed behind at Jade Mountain and didn't join the rest of his winglet in search for Winter's brother, cause he was scared. However, he now wants to help. Turtle begins helping by having a pool party of one. Peril has been confined to a cave since, in the meantime, Queen Ruby is visiting Jade Mountain to yell about her murdered subject. Huh, who knew putting together murderers with murderers would result in murder? Who even let these teenagers run the school? Hey, we're eight and a half. Oh my god, Glory's head, she's dead. Okay, we were clearly all together. I scanned. I love you, Clay, I can bring you heads too. What are you doing here? Eavesdropping? <laughs> First glory, and soon I'll have all your heads and my kingdom! Sounds sus. Hold on, this is not glory. This magic paper inside its ear has enchanted a random mudwing's head to look like glory's. Ah, that's a relief. I'm too scared by war to be affected by a dismembered head of my kin. So, about Carnelian? I don't know, just drop her in a mountain or something. Scarlet flees, vowing vengeance. After the original Dragonets and Queen Ruby discover that the exiled queen has the paper capable of enchanting, Turtle and Peril decide to go find Scarlet, to hopefully get rid of her once and for all. Turtle and Peril meet Wound's Winglet and Possibility, a town made up of different dragon tribes that sprouted due to the alliances during the war. Winter returns with Foe Slayer, and he soon attacks Peril, completely failing to see her type advantage. I don't know who is worse, you or Ash Ketchum. To be fair, Peril's social skills are nearly as bad as that of most people after leaving quarantine. Foe Slayer, possibly upon thinking that Winter is doomed, escapes out of there. No, Foe Slayer, come back, you know information that could end the story during this book. Winter is saved by Turtle, who is revealed to be anonymous himself. But Peril is too thick to notice. You and Clay are really meant for each other, huh? Later on, a strange skyving approaches Peril which is revealed to be her father, Chameleon, who is actually a Rainwing. Yeah, well, Chameleon is working with Scarlet and limits her use of his powers. He mostly uses pieces of the enchanted scroll of Darkstalker to transform into all of his different dragon OCs. Scarlet goes to fight Queen Ruby for the throne, having Peril by her side after Chameleon used Darkstalker... Okay, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just saying dark from now on, dark. Okay. Scarlet goes to fight Queen Ruby for the throne, having Peril by her side after Chameleon used Dark Scroll to make her a necklace that would turn her scales non-fiery. It also made her completely forget about her love. The mere presence of Peril in the palace is enough to make every person within a thousand mile radius flee for their lives. Scarlet orders Peril to hold Ruby's son hostage while she takes back the throne. Ruby returns and seeing the state of affairs, tries to come up with a plan. However, with a little help, Peril ends up realizing that she doesn't have to be whoever Scarlet tells her to be, and is able to remove her necklace. At this, Peril is about to kill Scarlet, but Ruby ends up challenging her mother in a fight for succession. As they fight, Peril realizes that the challenge is rigged, and burns up Ruby's earring, which was enchanted by Chameleon Scroll to turn her into the dragon she believed was her long-lost sister. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Ruby thus gains the strength to defeat Scarlet. The winglet gets a hold of Chameleon Scroll, Moon is reluctant to help Dark now that she finds written within the scroll all the terrible things he did. 
All of them begin arguing about what to do about the magic paper and who should have it. Peril, annoyed by their bickering, grabs the scroll, which immediately burns to a crisp between her talons. Everyone is happy, seeing how this was probably the best thing to do. Except it's not, and a 2,000 ton, 2,000 year old Nightwing immediately bursts out of the mount and they're standing on, preparing to slam his foot down on the first green sea wing he sees. 